guys, I'm here in Hoi An, Vietnam. I'm only really here for one particular reason. I'm going to a village next door. Uh, Bun Mun, sorry if I say the name wrong, but there is a village close by where there's a guy that knows how to make a basket boat. All right, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just stay tuned. It's a real cool boat, and hopefully we can find a guy that makes it. It's a rare art. If you don't know what basket boats are, basically, back in the day when the French used to levy taxes on boats, right? They they were making it very expensive for Vietnamese people to have boats. So what the Vietnamese people did was they created something called a basket boat. They created something that looks like a basket that they would use in the water to go fishing. And I think that's kind of dope. And so let's go check it out. And we're heading to the next city. Anyways, I'm taking you with me. Let's go. These guys is helping me out big time. I like going into villages. It's very, it's very interesting to see. All right, guys. After a long search, we find the guy. Yeah, he's taking some bamboo water. Yeah, yeah. He want you. He want help you. I'm gonna help him out. Okay. Oh, okay. He... Mm. And it's a lot of patience to do that. How many bamboo sticks you need to make one boat? Five. Ooh. Five trees this long. Wow. Wow. Yeah, three days. The three days. Three days to, three days to strip like this? this? Yeah. Um, how many years has he been doing this? Thirty. Thirty years doing yeah, 30 this. Years. Okay. Did he learn this from his family? Is this is something his family's been doing? Yeah, he, 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 có tính cách là thủ công hóa như cái, yeah, yeah. cái đồ gì của yeah, như là traditional, like traditional. Yeah. traditional is always the better route than yeah. the plastic route yeah, yes. không có okay. nhựa là đắt tiền mà khách là không đấy yeah, the black is uh, more expensive but the people don't like it because they want to traditional like that oh the traditional one is yeah. good yeah. now uh, are there still people that know how to do this or it's a uh, art that people are forgetting to do là du lịch ít chàng lắm yeah. xuống này bắt đầu hóa là làm cho nó rất là đẹp yeah, not 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 smart, not smart. Just some, just some people to do. Some. You have young kids who are not learning this. In the next thirty years, will they know how to make a boat like this? Yeah, he keep, yeah keep, yeah he he still keep teaching. Okay, so he teaches. That's yeah. what I wanted to know. How much to make a personal boat? How much would it be? Five million thousand dong. Ooh, okay. That means that's uh, about two hundred. What do you say? He said that yeah, he welcome people come here and that if you come here, we can tip for him because it takes a lot of time. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tip. I'm gonna give him a tip. We actually caught him on his way out. Oh, so uh, sorry if it was like a rush interview, but he was kind of patient with us. You come a little early, and you can see pretty much how they get the boats made but he's very he's been very patient with us and old man that loves his craft i think that's kind of dope you know what i mean i want to do a study and find out what's going on with vietnam are they losing their way their traditional way because of innovation you guys know i went to the floating market right and that place used to be thriving but it slowed down because of innovation and transportation people are using motorbikes instead of their old way of trading on boats in the floating market right however here's something similar all right they're now making these out of plastic they're more expensive they say if they're plastic 
But will that last? Will it be that expensive? Will people start just using the plastic route? Or will they just scrap this way of making boats all entirely? In 30, 40 years, will people be able to make boats like this? Even as this young man is still training people to learn how to make this boats, will the supply and demand be there? I can imagine these boats being relics in the next couple of years. All right, guys, we found another guy that's actually making a boat right now. And so you can see his process right now. And this is how big the boat circumference is. It's huge. Interesting. Let's get close. Wow. He's only using wood tools currently. Okay. And he has, he seems to have a system on how he's doing everything, which is awesome to see. The art of weaving, how powerful is that? Everything he's doing is... So this is how the end should look, a little curvy in a way round. And so he's almost done with that area and I'm assuming he'll just come around and do the whole thing the same way. Now obviously he could probably use different tools but this is probably what his ancestors used and so he's using it this way. Ask him how long he's been doing this. 15, 15 years. 15 years? And how long he's been doing this one? One day? One day. One day. Yeah, from yesterday. Oh, he's, he just started from yesterday, and this is how much he did. This is awesome. Look, these are also more strings of bamboo. I guess this is probably the area where he'll go ahead and just start carving everything up and then just leave it out here for the sun to just bake. I can assume when you're cutting all this bamboo that it's going to get, get kind of wet. So he leaves it here in the sun so it can get dry and hard. Uh, he said here just sits family is a do, do that same thing. Just sit family. It's no. not a lot of people. That's not, not a lot of not people. Not a lot of people. Just six families. Okay, so wow. Just, yeah. Six families. All right. Yeah. Guys, we're at some place, I guess, for a coconut tour. Uh, this is a restaurant here, a cool restaurant. We're here to see the boats actually float. Maybe get on a boat. Actually, there's a boat right here. So it's going to be an interesting thing to check out. Here we go. We're getting on one of these boats over here. All right. All right. Why, why? I'm a heavy guy. <laughs> they do have life jackets for people who need it. I guess everybody has to put it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, wow, he's going to do a quick turnaround. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess this is the technique they those guys use. <laughs> Definitely an interesting tour they have here, guys. Okay. There's no water seeping through here. They do put a little rubber here, I guess, for tourists to come in. One thing I noticed about the, the boats, they have a coating in the corner. This is still the bamboo boats, but they put coating like a paint over it to like, keep the buoyancy going. So we're opening into some deeper water here. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I thought it was going to be a small stream, but actually, there's a whole bunch of people out here rowing and rowing. So this definitely tour was worth it. Okay. It's a little bit bigger. 
Looks like we, we're coming to an area where he's gonna do some dancing here. I would recommend if you are coming to Hoi An that you do pay this a trip. It was a fun adventure. I can't lie, especially learning about these boats. I would recommend you guys come out here and get on one of these boats. Right now they're being used for tourism, but like the gentleman said, some villages still use them for practical use. Who knows what happens to these boats in the next couple of future. I would hope more of this is being made for practical use other than tourism. But thanks for watching. More on your way from your boy. I am going to a different city, okay? I'm heading up north. And I can't wait to show you more, all right? If you're new, subscribe. If I, this video helped motivate you to travel more, experience more, share this video with someone you know who needs some motivation in traveling more. I'm just trying to motivate people to travel more and not just go to your typical places. Just think outside the box and doing something different, all right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, so he's gonna go fast on us. <laughs>